guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 45 and 46 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 45 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Because she loves him. I still hate the fact that Rokuro was like, nope, you're staying here. You're not going with me. That's not true. That's not true. It's not true. If you really cared about her, you would have let her go with you. I can't believe we're almost done with the show. Like, oh my god. 47, 48, 49, 50. I got... Two, four more episodes, two more weeks, and I might end up watching the next two episodes on Friday with my Otome because since having four shows, like, oh my god, complicated as fuck, but we trying to make it work here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even with every other things that I gotta do and then filling out applications since, you know, since the pandemic has kind of calmed down now, um, everybody here where I live is basically hiring and so I'm trying my hardest to fill out applications and try to get interviews and ish like that because of course you know I, I love getting extra money for doing this but um at the same time with like my loving mom and we've been having conversations about stuff um just want more money that's the biggest thing no offense but and so sometimes I will probably be working like a nine to five and then I have to come home and record and I will be really tired so it's going to be really hard for me and then if I'm possibly going to school because that is an idea that I want for myself to better myself and it's like that to be a, a Japanese interpreter and this is seventh third it's a lot for one chick to do by herself but I I love the challenge possibly kill you? just don't want her to get hurt. See, Rokuro, you say that, but I don't think you are. You know Benny of Hong Kong. Come on now. Like, if she doesn't come by the end of this episode, she's gonna come by 46. To see you.
Yeah, he did. Very stubborn. Come on now. This is Tanji though we're talking about. I mean, Jesus. <sighs> but she can't. She loves him. Yes, I know. Because leaving someone behind is not really good in my book. I mean, oh God, because you know, if that was me, I'd be going after him anyway and then kicking his ass. He shouldn't have to do this by himself. You still can't defeat him. Well, a ring of fire. Yeah, he's right about that. You've always been a part of each other's life, no matter what. It's destiny. Mm.
You can't use that. Yeah, you wish you had Benny on now, huh? Because you know, you can't do this without her. And you are stupid, idiotic for leaving her. Come on, let's be a little bit smart about that. Mm. For an example, let's talk about Tanjiro and Nezuko. Tanjiro and Nezuko had to do everything together. I'm just saying. It just tells you how weak you are without her. You thought you were so strong, but no. You need her and she needs you. And for himself. And the greater good. Maybe even you. Excuse me. Well, okay, look, I don't know. We got like less than four episodes left before we're done with this show. So at least between this next episode and the four we got left, he's got to do something. same time it's stupid that he went by himself he's gonna get himself killed
Of course. But then it won't be worth it to you because once the world destroy is destroyed, you'll be gone too, just as much as everyone else. Exactly. Because she was like, no, don't want to have Benny O see me like this again. If I die, no, not if I die, if I turn into that thing again, Ayuma, I want you to kill me. that You can. And you know it's serious once they add the freaking godly music. Mm.
God, I mean, you know what? All I have to say is just, you don't just has a big crush on Rokuro. Ever since the beginning of this day, I'm serious. Like, oh my God. But not into the point where you, like, they want to be in a relationship with each other. It's just like, yeah. Yuto just wants to kill him and just move on. And probably even kill himself. And then that's it. That's how their love story ends. And then Benio is just on the sidelines like, what the fuck? But, okay. I'm still, I still have a little bit of glimmer of hope, especially when we get into this next episode, that Benio is going to wake up. She's going to go after Rokuro, despite everything Adama said to her, everything, you know, Maida and um, Benio's grandmother said and everything. She's still going to go because she loves him. It's not fair that he has to do everything by yourself. It's not fair to have your significant other do something by themselves. When you are in a relationship with someone and eventually get possibly married to that someone, your pain becomes their pain. Your sadness becomes their sadness. Anything you feel, they're going to feel. You are going to be with each other during your your biggest moments and your strongest and your damnedest, hardness weaknesses. And as a couple, they have to do this together. It makes the most sense. And I hate the fact that, you know, he's like, no, Benio, we we're getting a divorce, even though we're not married, even though we're not even together. But we're we're together together like that. And it's fucked up because it's like you're if you really truly love her, Rokuro, like you say you do. You would have been like, fuck it, we're going together, and we're doing this together no matter what. But no, you had to give a half-assed bullshit apology and say this, this, that, and the third, and that, and you tell her that you just, like, she, she lags behind. She's not as strong as she thinks she is. But together, you guys are strong no matter what. And he needs to learn that. He possibly knows it. But he just doesn't want Benio to see him in the same way he did just a few episodes ago. Or possibly die. But if you die, she's going to be upset. Oh my god, come on, man. This is some starch cross lover Romeo and Juliet type ish. Like, oh my god. And so, like I said, I really truly think she is going to come. Maybe not in this next episode. By 46. Hell, maybe even by the end of 46. But from 47 to episode 50, to the four episodes that we have left by the time I watch 46, she's going to come, and she's going to come with a motherfucking vengeance, and she is going to do everything in her power not to have Rokuro die, but to also kill her brother. That's it. She's going to team up with Rokuro because they're always supposed to fucking be together. Hell, we've had moments, two fucking moments, where she had a dream and Rokuro was trying to use Rezans and he couldn't use it. And it's because, oh, you know why? Benio's not there with you. So everything that you two have tried to do together, that you've done together, after putting your differences aside, after technically having a quote-unquote child and loving this child and going back to the way you were, you like, even though he's mature as fuck now, he's took so many steps back, but he's like, okay, I gotta do this on my own. No, you don't! You just need help! And it's just like, I hate that, you motherfucker! Like, seriously! Oh my god! Fuck! Like, yee! I hate that. I hate it so much. Oh! Well, let's hope, let's hope, pray deep and say I don't do some shit like this, because all I want to be over here is like, Tanjiro. Tanjiro! <laughs> I swear to God! But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 46. Okay, episode 46 and 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Excuse me.
got colder in here. I told you we shouldn't have trust him. see in a way you toast fine with Roko killing him but something kind of tells me he he might not die by the end of this maybe you know what no let me let me say it like this anime wise he might die manga wise he might not die I mean, but you know, stopping him is still so uh, almost the same of killing him, right? I mean, it it really isn't. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Oh. 
Oh, fuck. But really, and I catch it like seven minutes in. Damn. <laughs> the more you liked him and the more you were interested in him And without food either. So they had to learn more about each other during this. It's the only time we get to see, like, you know, Yuto just be happy and cute as fuck, even though you want to punch him in the face.
so you should just be with each other, right? I mean, you here right now! Like, mm. Mm-hmm. Let me go. Is Benny O? Or is it Uto? Mm-hmm. Of course. So the question is, would the king be awakened by, like, these next four episodes that we have left? Because now it's like all three of them, their destinies were entwined no matter what. Is that supposed to happen? He would open one.
<sighs> this is too much. And we're almost done with this episode. are gone. Benny? But now you have no one. You gave him exactly what he wanted. It's you. Oh. We really end in this with him dying. There's only four more episodes left. You. We should have never fucking trust him. Even when Arima disappeared. Are you fucking kidding me? And this is exactly what he wanted. What the fuck? Oh my god! He knew that he. this is how his life was going to end. That Rokuro was going to kill him. You can't get no, 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 no. I, I'm. Mmm. We got four episodes left. Was it?
was I expecting you to die in this episode? A little bit of yes, little bit of no. I, I thought he would, like, at least die in episode 47. But now, Rogo, he's unstoppable. Who the fuck is going to be able to, The only one who can be able to stop him is Benio. That's it. Rokuro is probably going to die. Four episodes left. Two videos left that I got to make. This is, it's just destiny. Like I said, all three of them were intertwined from the day that they were born. One of them is now dead and there's only two left. And we might end up, like this series might end with all three of these kids dying. We've already killed one. There's two left. I'm at a crossroads. <laughs> Like, she's, she's gonna possibly have to kill him. And that's gonna be one of the most hardest things. So now that her brother is dead, she's gotten all this power now. So is she gonna be OP as fuck by next week? And are these two gonna duke it out to the death one last time? I, I mean, mm, bro, I don't know. I don't know. We got four, two more episodes left. Two straight up long hour videos left before I'm done with this show. And I go on to my next Patreon series, like, oh my god. Uh, I, mm, I'm everything right now. Like, I'm all the emotions right now. What the fuck is going on? Are you serious? I, I'm so, I'm scared, but I'm also excited. I, I'm really excited to see how truly, with the four episodes we, that we have left, how this story is A, going to wrap up, and B, how is it going to end? Now that Roku has lost all his memories of who or what he was fighting for, or who he's trying to fight for, he's not him anymore. And the only one who can bring him back is Ro um, Rokuto. Benio, oh, this is too much. Way too much. Like, Jesus. You got me, like, the last time I felt this way, almost to the verge of tears, is watching Fate. And being like, oh my god, like, who's gonna die this week? Can't, you know, can't be attached to characters and it's like that, that are off with on my drive. And, and, or even Danganronpa, when I first, when I got into Danganronpa umpteen years ago, and I was like, yeah, can't be attached to anyone because you never know who's gonna die in this series. But, mm. That's all I gotta say. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes 45 and 46 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 47 and 48. Bye, guys.